In this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect Binance to Delta. So, the first thing you need to do is to create an API key. So, to do that, go over to the top right. Then hover your mouse over this icon. You'll then see this pop-up. Over at this pop-up, go over to API Management. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. So, what you need to do now is to give the API key a label. So in this case I'll be using Delta since that's the app I'll be using my API key on. You then get this security verification pop-up, so just make sure you fill in everything you need to fill in. Alright, so once you have filled in everything, go over to submit and click on that button. You'll now see that your API key has been created. Now go over to edit restrictions. Here you should disable the enable spot and margin trading feature. And once you've done that, click on save. By the way, if you've got any other features checked, make sure you all disable them and just only enable enable reading. Since the only EPI restriction Delta needs is enable reading. So once you've disabled all the features, click on save. Now fill in the Google verification code once again. So as you can see, I'm on my phone right now and you will need to do the same. Depending on if you already have one or multiple portfolios at Delta, make sure to click on add new portfolio. If you don't have a portfolio, you can click on this button right here. And if you do have a portfolio already, click on those three lines in the top left. And then go over to add new portfolio in the middle of your screen. Now you will need to give your portfolio a name. So I'll just go with Binance. Now click on the portfolio you just created. You'll then see this, your new portfolio starts here. And below that, you'll see, we just need one or more transactions. Add your first transaction via the plus button below. So, click on the plus button, and since we want to connect our Binance to Delta, click on the Connect Exchange account. Now, click on Binance or Binance US, depending on which account we are in. So, I will go with Binance. Now, you will need to read the notice about API limitations. Once you've done that, click on I understand. Now, you will need to give your Binance Exchange connection a name. Now, go over to the website and make sure you have the QR code visible. Then go back to your phone and click on API key. If Delta asks for permission to your camera, click on OK. Then you'll just need to scan your API list and click on use this value. As you can see, my API key has been imported. If you want to customize which information does and does not get imported, click on the import button. You can now select import all transactions, import all transactions since date, import new transactions only, or import balances only. So I'll go over to import all transactions and then click on add connection. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.